private raccoon? Let's find out. Prologue. Act uno. Yeah, I'm a pixel raccoon in a bath. Sorry, I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Pixely. A little bonsai tree. Just enough time to clean up. Oh. Uh, moving. E to interact with objects. Tab for the menu. Why is it so quiet? Hang on. Turn that up. Did it remember? Yes. Thank you. Continue. There we go. Animal Crossing Noir. Do you guys remember we played one called Chicken Police? This gives me those vibes. My cork board. Mama Helen Lotter. Lol Lot Lotor. Taught me everything I know, and I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. God damn your mother. Pianetti, you beautiful, dangerous renegade, you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools, leaving places they shouldn't be in. Inspect desk. Clean up. My smelly old bowl. <coughs> case files, insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably have been some of these old case files. This is the full game. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never! My TV. What's in the fridge? Call mum, buy so pay bills don't die. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Ah, put the dishes in the sink. I'll wash these later. Probably not. The Great Apes, the Great Story, Swell Toilet Read. If I've cleaned up enough. Tidy up before my new client arrives. Oh, okay. Just look at everything, I guess. Put the chemicals away. There we go. Heh. Uh, the sound of knocking is so anxiety inducing. <laughs> it's like, what do you want? Who is it? Odette. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lota. Is that how I should pronounce that? We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. Odette will do. I, uh, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's a cheater, ain't he? I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. He tried to talk to him about it. Yes, but he gets difficult. Like, it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for court. I'll get you the proof, oh, Dad. I'm taking the case. What do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones. Sounds cute. And his wedding band, as far as I know. He carries a black briefcase to and from work. Hey, is this a Wind in the Willows noir edition? Uh, where can I find him usually? At work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere and now it's all the time. So he's acting out a character. He was always a private kind of man and now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. What kind of smell? 
perfume, not mine, alcohol, smoke, something poignant, a kind of herbal stink. I think we've got a Walter White situation. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent. Hmm. He threatened to take the kids. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot should have been shouldn't have to go through all of this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Give the old goodwill hunting. It's not your fault. I know. You're right. Let's nail this bastard. I'm taking the case. Have you met any of his friends? He's mentioned a few guys as they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit, green tie, and a hat. Full name, Jeremy Green. People at work call him Jez. Hey, Jezza! Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photos. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me you're the right guy for the job? I can't. All I can do is my best. I have to put a lot of trust in you, Mr. Lota. Please don't let me down. I'll get right on it. New objective. Track Jeremy. Find evidence of his infidelity. Do we go to the cork board? Or do we leave? Da, 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 da. You love Wind in the Willows? It's today's podcast episode. Cool art. Granville. I would have thought he would have been a cheetah. Nice. Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> the smell of puke. Mm. Ah, wet concrete and puke. Mm, delicious. Furman and Sons. The lawyer's office. Old shift to run. Yeah. The day I bought a bike, Citizen Maine, Johnny and John don't drive. The greatest story shown every day. Cocktails and a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend. Dr. Cyclops. Eden Simmons, the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Oh, this is where he works, the Wolf Bank. I'm a good detective. Yeah. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Is Jez around? Who are you? Uh, let's lie. Wallace, asshole, owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. You and me both, pal, and Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Ooh, is he gambling? That happens sometimes in stories, doesn't it? They're like, what's going on with you? And they're like, I lost it all, damn it. Uh, I make my own luck. When was the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp ass left early. What is a wimp ass? He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig, huh? Did something happen? Heard his contract's not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did you boys spend time with him outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday till he turned into a needy leech. Could he be there now? How the F would I know? Skidaddle! I'll do just that. <laughs> imagine you imagine using the F word, but then you go straight to skidaddle. Fish, shrooms, veggies. Ooh, the bite, the club. It definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. The bite. Hank the bear. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. 
Uh, I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes. I'll let you in. Deal? Sure. Try something. What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Sneak around the back, maybe. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Larry? The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Who are you calling old, you old rascal? Alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. Do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. What's your deal? You've seen an otter guy around here recently. What did he do? Can't tell. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? Green hat. Here's a photo. Haven't seen him. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter. That's weird. <laughs> what if he's magic miking it on the stage? And now... I'm an otter, baby. Just trying to pay the bears. Have you any idea how I can get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What does he push? Your typical hype, Shatterfang. Get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Hey man, you got any of that monkey butt? What? Craving some monkey butt, dude. Monkey butt? Yeah, word is this new thing's the shit, though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish, stanky thing. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Oh, he's going to be a drug user. Hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it. You okay there, sir? to come. Private detectives always look so cool. What else do we have along here? Luscious, the barber shop. Enter Crouch. Ah, oh, crap. Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Look at someone just chilling in their window like that up there. Main character energy. Sitting in the window, having a smoke. Who was it? This guy. Yo, old man. Uh, are you Johnny? Who's asking? I am. Yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to you? Uh, I heard you deal monkey butt. The F? Where did you get that stupid idea? Striper? Just a rumor. Will you help me? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff, even if I did have it. Mm, get me past the bouncer and I'll owe you. You know where to get it. Just square things up between me and the bouncer. I don't know how these things are related. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make you simpatica. What does Johnny get in return? I'm a detective. My mark is the bite. I'll owe you one. Shit me. Prove it, punk. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too and the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crap cake. 
Weird hearing that from a fella with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. Uh. You're so ugly when you're angry. Stop chatting about my face. Don't look at it. Someone in the club needs my help. Do you understand that concept? So you're a good Samaritan. Who's gonna save your dumbass? Not that I give two apps. I'll talk to Hank. There we go. Let me in, squirrel boy. Marshall in another life. Variant Marshall. Selling monkey butt on the streets. My fashion line failed. I was forced to sell monkey butt. Here's Johnny. Hey Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer. Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. It's a fairy convention. Well, you're unusual. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will, though it's just an observation. Renee Wilson. Wallace, pleased to meet you. That's a fake name. You're too young for a Wallace. It's my grandfather's name. You were named after him? Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. Delightful. Ever got tricked by a raccoon before? You're my first, let's celebrate. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living. Seen any otters around here lately? She didn't even answer me. <laughs> State of it, this dog. Hey there, you here for the Eden Simmons show? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. Uh, I'm looking for a friend. I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying close attention. Couldn't be sure. Enjoy the show. I don't want to blow my cover. I'm trying to be a good PI here. Yeah, the music's cool. I like the art a lot. The dialogue feels really disjointed, like maybe it's been translated from something else. But the art and the music so far are really cool. Isn't this too dreamy? I'm looking for someone. God, I love this music. Uh, wanna dance? I'm looking for my friend. Not in the mood for dancing. He'll be wearing a green tie, glasses. Nope, leave me alone. Go shade him. Oh, that's cool. I can actually just sit down. That's chill. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? My friend's late. I'm worried about him. How touching. Are they regular? Jeremy. He's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. Try asking the bartender. Or Miss Bloodworth. Thanks for the time, Ms... Call me Ingrid, Mr. Just Mr. will do. If you insist. Hey, what's your poison, don't surprise me. I'll try. Yeah, see? You look a little lost. 
It's that obvious. Look how I'm sitting. Rocket Raccoon over here. It is to me. Why does the screen keep flashing like that? Uh, it's not my usual scene. Then what brings you here tonight? You're not a troublemaker, are you? Do I look like a troublemaker? There's an old saying about books and their covers, but you know better than me. Well, my cover today is a raccoon in a trench coat. Not too troubling, in my humble opinion. How should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Just stick with the Wallace, I guess. What do you do for a living, Wallace? I'm a photographer. I appreciate the creative types. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Well, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. Thanks. I strive to offer a sophisticated experience. You excel at it. Say, what would you say really stands out here? Folks say our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. What brought you here tonight? Looking for Jeremy. Looking for Jezza? You just meeting him for a quiet drink? Uh, sure. Sweetheart, I don't believe you. We're co-workers. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you. And it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. Take your business elsewhere. Let me stay. Oh no. You're getting thrown out. <laughs> Damn you. Bears are always just bouncers or the bad guys. You know what? I'm sick of it. I ain't gonna stand for it anymore. How can I talk to this person anymore? Wonder what he's vibing to. Wish I was by my record player chilling at home now. live? Am I meant to just go? Huh. <laughs> Clarissa Bloodworth. What, Bloodworth. What's her deal? I need to find another way in. Maybe down that alley. Quico Mart. Old owner still tending to the shop. Should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. Ah, Sid. Feeling peckish? I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? <laughs> Do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. I got sorted and unsorted. Each baggie is worth a half loon. I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. Oh yeah, this rain effect is really nice. Look at that. Is your name really Sid? Yep, it's short for Sidwell, but no one calls me that. Has a nice ring to it. Sid Seeds. My Aunt Nata insists on it. I think it's cute. Do you hang around Granville often, Sid? I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something? I need to find a way into the bite. A fancy jazz bar? I assume you'll try at the front door. I got kicked out through the front door. Oh, uh, maybe there's a back door. You're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Why'd you get kicked out? I was snooping. Why was you snooping? I'm a private eye, working a case. Oh, very cool. What's the case? <laughs> That's one too many questions, kid. I'm supposed to keep a low profile. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to meddle. Just curious. I might let you in on it if you help me get into the bite. Classic detective move is like befriending a child, like from Sherlock to everyone else. It's always some useful little street urchin. Sorry, sir, I wish I could help. What if I could? I was being truthful before. I don't know where to get in. Little punk. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Memories. Okay, let's try the back door. Da, da, da. 
Yeah, I love the art. Try that intercom again. Oh, wait, there's new people here now. What are you looking at? Why are you here? Out for a smoke, why do you care? You're not holding a cigarette. I'm finished with it. I get lost. Mind your own. You look kind of out of it. Fine, what's it to you anyway? Florence, right? Read it on a tag. Piss off! I told you! I'm not leaving till I get her back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Right. Make like you don't know. Not fooling me, no sir. I'm on to you. I'm not moving from this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? <laughs> I'm not moving till I find my daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? Worst detective ever. I'm no fool. I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. And he won't let me see her. Is she at the bite? I'll keep an eye out for her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs. What thugs? I'm here on my own business. I'm just going to say I'm a private detective. I don't understand. Maybe we can help each other. How? I gotta get in there. Not really. I tried the code at the door, but filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. What code? I memorized it. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. My daughter's in that filthy. They won't let me talk to her. Wait, is that the code? Great fire, damn me. Why won't they let you talk to her? They say she doesn't want to talk to me. But they're lying and I know it. They just want to keep it all hushed up like. What does she look like? Grey fur. Name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She just turned 20. If they hurt a single whisker on my baby's face, I'm going to burn this hive to the ground. He send us a dun dun dun. Uh, I'll do my best. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her. Alright, thanks. Please, if you'll see my... I get it. Right, so if I have the code, then why can't I buzz the old intercom there, right? A delivery truck. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes. Smells like rust. A weird-looking recording device on a dashboard. Use the device. It's a voice recording device, hardwired into a truck dashboard set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recording if you enter the correct date. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers. Documents that look like invoices. Newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Okay, 22nd of September. Epidemic continues. Geezers may be spreading disease. Bong. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. So we've got 22nd of September, 9th of October. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited, purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods. The recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Select dates from there. Three packages for you. Geese, damn you. I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. Five packages ready for pickup. Four hours late. Okay. Maybe now this will work. Still nothing. I swear she said she had the code. Can I buzz that? How'd it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, how'd you manage that? I poked the bear. The bouncer? I met Clarissa. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. How do I get back in there? Hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. This is an intervention. We've heard what you're doing with monkey butt, Larry. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. It's a sensitive subject. No, you're right. I probably reek of the stuff. Listen, I'm not one to judge. I'm just trying to explain. Don't explain things to me, Howard. I'm happy to help, but this is where I draw the line. How do I get back in? 
The truck over there arrived. Some fellows entered through the back door. I heard voices coming from the roof. They must have a door up there. A little intercom box. You ring, they pick up. If you're someone you're ex they're expecting, they buzz you in. Okay. Some sort of code, which she gave to us. Door on the rooftop. Most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get to the roof? Fire escape? No fire escape. The press stand. That could work. Start with the press stand. Go to Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. You know what? That bow is kind of a dick nugget. Uh, well, who isn't a bit of a dick nugget nowadays? I'm not. Anyway, talk to him. See if he'd be up for it. Let me try this door one more time then. No answer. Rooftops it is. This guy up here was Bo. Good day to your friend. Fancy some fresh news? Uh, don't mind me, I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo, I need this. You're working on one of them cases? I don't want to be involved. It's not decent. Why in Shepard's name would you need to climb the press stand anyway? Come on, Bo. I'd help you out if roles were reversed. Now that you mention it, maybe you can help me out with the little issue I've been having. I need that seed shelling Pika Hawker off Granville. Can you do that? Who? Stinking Pika with the cart by the clothes store. What's it like a Pikachu? He's just a kid. This rodent on wheels doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent, or utilities. He sells his nibbles dirt cheap and he poaches my business. What do you want me to do about it? I want him out of here. It's not my style. Scratch back, mine, yours. Alright. I feel like we're friendly enough with this kid just to ask him to scram for a minute. Oh, back for more? I got a strange favor to ask. Uh, okay. Can you leave Granville for the night? I'd rather not. Granville's a great sales spot. Uh, Bo wants you off his turf. Of course it does. He thinks we're rivals. Well, screw him! What did he promise you? To allow me to climb his press stand. Uh, excuse me, Ryan. Uh, I'm a detective. Right. I have a business proposition for you. What if we got rid of Bo instead? I'm listening. Bo thinks he owns Granville because he has a paid up permit spot. I'm playing the hand I've been dealt. My mum and I built this cart with our bare hands. I'm trying to help my family. Where's this going? I was a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young rodent boy doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know that Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty legal ones. Let him know you know you know. Uh, you think he'll buy it? He'll blink. Anything to protect his precious permits. Let's team up. Swell idea, partner. Definitely picked a side with the kid. Heck yeah, I'll bow to the shepherd for you. This is a rabbit, isn't it, I think? It's a big chubby rabbit boy. Well, get rid of that parasite. I think you should leave. What? I heard a rumor. There's a police raid coming up. Are you selling adult magazines? Uh, watch me? No, adult watch? No. We both know it's not allowed. That boy, I'll whoop his ass till it's blue. That damn rodent stealing my business from me, an honest salesman. I will tell the cops if needed. I'm a hard-working rodent business owner. How dare you accuse me? I will not stand for this. Wait, a rabbit? A rabbit's rodents? Mm -mm. You better wrap up for today. During peak performance hours, so you can climb my kiosk, you sneaky bastard. Is that it? <laughs> I'm fetching the officer. Yeah, you guessed it. I knew it! Bastard! I won't let you ruin my life. Mm, I'm, go if I don't, uh, I'm going then. Please! Wait! I'll leave, asshole. Damn you and your whole kind. 
He is a bigot. What a racist. A speciesist. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? Suck it. Look at this skyline. Climb, punk. Damn, what a view. Guess there are benefits to risking your life on rain-slicked rooftops. Don't mind me, boys. I wonder if there's bird people. Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. Alright, green, after all that, you better be in here. You bastard. Drink every time it says bastard. Ooh, let's get dressed. Time for an undercover mission. Stick a load of makeup on, wrap a feather bow around our neck, go out on stage. See if we can spot him from the best vantage point in the place. That's what I would do if I was designing this game. What's this? Margot Moore everywhere right now. Fierce lady, not really my type. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day off. Nothing pops in the mouth like Pops candy. Nicely wrapped gift. Mine usually come in recycled newspaper. Some honey for your tea. Mum swears by it. Greg. Who's Greg? Press control to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Uh, who's around here, wild sky? Stealth master. A private room. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind. Oh, look, he's green hat. A green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get here? A secret lift? I could squeeze into that. Not that I want to, but I can't afford to be picky. A grim looking furnace. What are they burning up here? The music's great. Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Intercom. Hmm. Kitchen. This is kitchen, what do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. I want to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. Pineapple on a pizza, are you crazy? Who is this? I think somebody's coming. An open vent, I can fit through it if I crouch. Oh. Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guys with big knives. Smells delicious there. Uh, that's a dis Why would I do that? <laughs> oh no! Oh dear. Right. Wait, I'm... Is he on the other side of something here? So if I do that, he's not going to... Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. Hello, I'm making a noise. you like to go do that? 
I don't want to get stabbed. I can just sneak past. Oh. <laughs> no animation for you. That was as abrupt as, uh... Oh man, what was that game? Eternal Cylinder. Boink! Dead. Maybe if I look at them first, and then turn it on. It's a bit of a bug. Hmm, that was... What? Uh... Maybe turn it on whilst he's busy with that one. I don't know why this guy won't take the bait here. great on that stage, Wallace. That's what you had to do. Oh, right. The intercom, the kitchen, tell them the pineapple up on the pizza. And that's why they were in that other room when we first came in here. I getcha. Hello, kitchen pizza, please. Mm, love a Hawaiian. Do you like pineapple on pizza, honestly? Wait, they're so buggy though, because this mix is still going and this guy is not coming over to it. Right, so now I'm just going to get caught. Oh my god, okay. Hello, beach of pineapple. Uh, 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 uh. But I like pineapple, so... Pineapple juice. What's the best juice? Like, tropical is probably the best, because it's a mix of everything, but... Pineapple's good. Orange is okay, it's just so kind of standardy. Apple's pretty nice. I rarely have apple juice, though. Some kind of locker room. Need the code, I guess. Greg, the turnkey's missing again. Gregory, can you... <laughs> Gregory, can you keep papers on your locker? What's that hiding under there? The code, maybe? Oh, no. Gregory. I guess Gregory's a dog. Thank you so much for the 444. Appreciate it. Ooh, wait. This looks kind of like a thing that you put over as a... Right? Like this is a, a key. Usually. Something like that. Yeah? What might that one go over? That seems right, that one. Maybe it's here. A code. Four. A, V, A, one, four. Does this go on here? Not really. Oh, this one does, though. Hang on. It's got holes in it. Oh. Maybe 104? Is that it? That's an O, right? Maybe it's 104. See what the uh, 
and a five, one five oh four possibly. And then it's so it's oh wait, this is the order here. So diamond is third. Ah, square four. Circle. Which one's circle? This is that kind of a circle. Eight. So four. Wait, one's triangle. Which of these is a triangle? It's kind of a square too. Oh, there's another. Th oh, I didn't see that at all. That just says five diamond there. Which is a triangle. I think triangle shaped. There's another card here. So square is four. Which is circle shaped? Is it this? Zero. Got bit one. And the diamond is obviously this third, so it's four something five something. The other hole makes a shape on the cards. Huh? Oh, so that's diamond. Right, I was going from this being a diamond or the shape of the hole, but actually it's highlighting this is all circles. Is that what we're saying? What's this one there? Just like a line. Is this even right? Labyrinth line over here. Oh, it makes a full square when you look at it. I told you I was absent minded today. Okay, so one. And this is what? That must be the triangle then. That makes the triangle. Okay. Um so it goes zero four five one. Bloody hell, Crystal May is up in here. Ah, I did it wrong. Alarm, alarm. We got you, you filthy raccoon. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Smart thinking. Is that a dead person? <gasps> oh my what? Dead body. A naked dead otter. What the The corpse offers no answer. Don't touch it, Prince. This is Jez Green. I found him. The pieces fit. It's Odette Green's husband lying here. Sniff. It used to be Jeremy. Smells like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. Going. I thought it would maybe going to be the daughter, you know? Look, there's someone hanging up there by their feet. Oh my god, someone's coming! Hide. Are they eating people? What's happening here? I like cutting them up. It's took a turn. Greg. I'm still working on a cut. Okay, coming. Is this going to be like a carnivore Zootropolis deal? The key. The turn key. Maybe I'll make it out of here alive. Sorry, Jez. Even you didn't deserve this. Oh, Jez, what have they done to Jez, son? 
They cut him up. He was a cute little otter. He was hanging out in the bite and he got bit. Now they're cutting him up. They're making burgers out of him for the foxy burger. Unbelievable. They sliced and diced him up, served him with some onions in a burger. Cutscene. Gonna, gonna yak. So this one has really like mixed reviews and I can see how that's the case with the dialogue. But I feel like it'd be worth if someone was interested in it playing it through just for the art. <laughs> you know? I think people had really high hopes for it because I think it was a Kickstarter game that people waited a really, really long time for. So some people were, seemed to be a little disappointed on Steam. But I mean, it seems like the kind of indie thing that it's like, the art and the music is of a caliber enough you could go through it. I don't know how long it is, but... They were butchering him! To dispose of the body, something worse than that. It's crazy, people don't eat people. It's the bite serving people flesh. They were dismembering corpses, putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Oh no. Don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. What am I going to tell Odette? Why, Jez, what did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? You seem like a harmless loser. In any case, what could you do to deserve being butchered? I don't even want to know. I have a duty to do something. What the F can I do on my own? This is my chance to do something meaningful. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. But I also don't want to die. I don't want to be alive sometimes. I wish someone would tell me what to do. I wish I had someone to talk to. What's that in the distance? The horns that call us to feeding time in this town. No one would get it. I have to wing it by myself, like always. I gotta stop anyone else being butchered. Just ask Clarissa nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. I could go back, get some evidence. I was lucky to make it out alive the first time. I'm not going back in there. I can't. This might be the most important case I've ever had. Shiro, thank you so much for the Prime for 12 months. Hitting an anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Blowing the horn of Bear Island. Thank you so much. For a whole year of support. Very much appreciate you. Is it worth the risk? I should tell the police. Is that going to work? What would I tell them? Hi, I broke into private property. I'd like to report a butchering. They'd arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. I don't want to answer the questions they'd ask me. Bloodworth probably has some kind of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. Police are out of the question. What will I tell her debt? The truth? Lie. I'll tell her he ran off with someone. Drag it out. The truth. Ooh, what would you tell her? The truth. I mean, it's what we were. Mm, but then she'll get herself in trouble if she goes running her mouth about it, right? <sighs> that is actually difficult. Do you tell someone the truth? Knowing it's like this great sort of conspiracy type lie thing that might actually endanger them. You know? Hmm. What is the truth? Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there. No. I'll call her and wing it. Maybe it's for the best he's gone. Why me? F this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. I just want this day to be over. Yeah, give me some of this booze, yeah. 
Gluck, gluck, gluck. Uh, oh, poor little Mike. Yeah, I had for some reason. Yeah, I get more drunk through the fire on top of my head. Park plaque, the burning park. There's so much language in this game. Wishing well. Someone's been using this as a public toilet. I'm sure flipping a coin would help. Does that uh, same herbal stink to it? Uh. Hey, pussy boy, let's have a little chat. <laughs> I'm walking here. Yeah, where you heading? Fellas, it's been a long night. Hey, where'd you get that coat? Looking like a lady coat. You a pretty little lady, huh? Oh. Is this your idea of flying? Hey, just wanna have a friendly chit-chat. Got any loons for your new friends there? Plenty, just not for you. Uh, the F? You disrespecting me? <coughs> uh, have, have a cough. You son of a gun. What's the matter, that voice hurt? You're ugly, boring, and you're in my way. Uh, you got somewhere better to be, pussy boy. Uh, I just want to go home. Uh, to your mum, she must be nice. Uh, we're coming with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll get it over with already. Yeah, ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Time for Pain City. Uh. Show me what big boys you are. Hey. The dame. Oh, it's Renee from the place. Okay, Howard, we're safe here, you can relax. You relax, I'm relaxed. Don't sass me, let's talk. Why would I tell you anything? Because we might want the same things, but fine, I'll start off. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Okay. You like telling others what to do, though. When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Let me guess. Everyone needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence, how they work, how you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. Sounds like you're in way over your head, sister. Maybe. But I feel like I could really make a difference with the book. No one's really done this work before. How did you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. Wondered what madness you were up to. Just the usual. I staked out the alley behind the bite on a hunch. Twenty minutes later. Bingo. Puking raccoon. Yeah, I got a sensitive stomach. That's all right. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. You stalked me. Not cool. I was concerned. Have a little gratitude. Why am I here? I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? <laughs> A body. I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? It would be. I'm here to listen. It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way there, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? Did I? Oh, on our way here. Okay, so I just drunkenly spilled my guts. Nice. Um, my case. Client confidentiality. I was hired to track a guy. Take some photos. What's his deal? Um... It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now, does it? I don't I don't appreciate you keeping details to yourself. What matters is he was dead when I found him. Where? In the basement. Cutting my target up into pieces. What the F? Gutting him like a fish. 
dividing his flesh into neat little chunks, bodies hanging from the ceiling, boxes of flesh. Are you joking? I wish. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and putting them into boxes. Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this, why? Maybe it's a power thing or a fetish. <laughs> Maybe she eats them. I don't think so, but someone else might. No wonder you puked. Damn. I don't know. Wow, it really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? Die, probably. That's the spirit. Seriously, though, how do we deal with your new situation? Since when is it we? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. More specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth out about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. Okay, how is that a good idea? I know you're scared, but I can see how your brilliant mind lights up when we speak. Are you charming me? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something I couldn't, and you owe me one. I don't owe you anything. Yes, you do. Imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork! I'll pay you. How much? More than a private detective makes. I'm smart. I know her modus operandi. I'll keep you safe. Okay. Tea time. Mind brewing some? I'm the guest. You do it. And I'm the mastermind. Pulling the strings. Get brewing. Sure, boss. Shimp! Turn the kettle on. Which tea would Renee prefer? Green, black, or hibiscus? What do you think a fox would drink? We gotta guess what tea she likes now? It's my kind of game. Um, I would guess hibiscus. Herby little fox. You know, it makes me think of fields. Foxes running in fields. Smelling flowers. Gentle, subtle, my favorite. Renee's pretty cool. Been a while since I met someone like her. I must still be drunk. Yeah, Howard, get a grip. You just met her. He is simping. Let's see what she says. Oh, we gotta wait for it to brew or something? <laughs> it just moved in. <coughs> what did it say about the tea? Where is the tea? A good investigator should be without one. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandma's house hearing a kettle like that. A whistling one. Hibiscus, my favorite. Mm. Perfect. Careful, don't burn your tongue. God. Renee, I do know how to drink tea. Okay, so we need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck? Yeah. Thinking what I'm thinking. The truck smuggles the flesh away. Right. Seems like a stretch. What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? Conspiracies are for crazy people. I'd seen it a few times whilst researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you can tell up close. How did you know? I love their pear cider, don't judge me. The logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off. Where does it deliver to? 
Luckily, there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know that it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. But not exactly. My informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it, but I figured out that it spends the night in Bite Alley before going to Gastown the next day. I plan to sleep through tomorrow. Your plans are cancelled. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. So it's a stakeout. Sure, but look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck. The right place will probably st- Renee, mm -hmm. is that tea? It's this tea. It's the hibiscus. It's my favorite, but my stomach just can't handle it. But now back to the case. I'll, they'll probably sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. That's good detective thinking, Renee. He just pretends that he didn't hear anything. Because he's like simping so hard and trying to be polite. It's like, no. he starts coughing. <laughs> trying to cover it up for her. Uh, Calfi, thank you so much for the triple four. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Thank you, it's a needle in a haystack, but that's all we have for now. It has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. Together. Oh, I have to call Odette. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone's right there. Arrange a taxi to Gastown whilst you're at it. I want to see what this next town looks like, because that last one looked super cool. Bum, 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 bum. Um, cool Odette. Um, my husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? He's dead. Bye. Uh, I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined. Please put me out of my misery. You should file a missing persons report. Oh, oh, Shepard. Try and move on with your life. Is he not coming back? No. Sorry, I have to go. Please, wait! Hang up. Wow, okay. That's cool, Mum. Hey, Mum. How are we? What time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I'm fine. I'm just checking in. I just wanted to hear your voice. Did you have to hear it at five in the morning? You don't sound too excited to hear from me. I am. Do you need money? Why, did you win big at cards or something? What do you need? Nothing. You never let me help. I'm your mother. How's the spider problem? Huge. I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me because... I'll call you in a week or two. I'm busy. You always are. It's fine. Luckily, I still have your father around to take care of your old loving mother. Mom, I love you. Ah, Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast. Stop smoking. Bye-bye, baby. <laughs> Anatoly. Tolly. Anatoly. Howie, you free today? For you always. What's hanging? Is it Pearl or a Peach? What was I saying? Pick me up. You bet. Howie and Tolly, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Crime lords beware. I want to see what animal this is. We're not partners. Yet. Where do I pick you up? One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. A block away. It's in the docks. Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? None of your business. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Da -da -da. Fell asleep? Yeah, I mean, this game's really chill. The music's really good. And it's just like a lot of reading. But I'm boom. Start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. Who's Odette? My client. Elaborate. The one that hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead. Poor woman. Yeah, not sure I handled that well. You did not, but that's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. Thank you? Question mark. You can stay here for as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now. Meet you back here later tonight. You don't want to stay? Call me if you need anything. Foxy lady. 
I think I love the uh, something recall. What's the case? Oh wait, what is that? A beaver? I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference. Ooh wee, love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. Not about my name. And the name of your partner stamped just underneath it. Hey, Dolly. Here we are, Gastown. Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. Looks can be deceiving. Oh my god, look at the state of his taxi. Doesn't apply to me. You go on and bother folks. I'm gonna get some quality Anatoly chill time. When's your truck coming? We'll see. Kick back in the meantime. It'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. Get it yourself. But it's so hot and I'm so lazy. Don't I know it? Gas Town. The Wood Palace. A bookshop. Oh, I went in the bookshop. Poochie. Hey, welcome to Poochie's Reads. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Oh, you got these things with pages and words. So, this is a bookshop. What are you in the market for? Uh, I got anything by Renee Wilson. Name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer. I got her book right here, yes. What's it called? An introduction to systema sy sy systemic state power dynamics. Not the catchiest. She's young. Yeah, a debut at 25 years old. It's quite unusual she managed to get it published. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't quite an achievement to even get it published. She did well not sounding hysterical. But you're about the first person to ask about it. What books do you recommend? I hate it when people ask me that question. Do your own research. Develop your own taste. Snob. Will that be all peasant? <laughs> Let's move on. Been here long. Been running this store for 12 years. Took over from my mama. Shepherd's bless her. If not her shelf organizing system. Are you going to sell books till you die? I hope so. That's how I want to go. Just after reading the last page of a great novel. I like books. Then you're easily pleased and always welcome here. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide, but we do have the Gormons gallivant around Gastown if you're interested. Doesn't sound spicy enough. Well put. <sighs> What's up, Shell? A badger. I'm on my smoke break. Just passing time. Well, heck, aren't we all? Preach! What's up? Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. What are the locals like? They're all assholes. Aren't you a local? Yeah, point proven. I'll leave you to it. Oh my, what a magnificent snout. My boy, you've got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Uh, excuse me? Your jaw must be a spectacular set of fangs in there. Perhaps you can demonstrate. Are you some sort of fang creep? Excuse my manners, my name is Dr. Bartholomew Fisher III. Doc for short, I study jaws. How about these fangs of yours? What about them? Bear your teeth like so, say, Ra? Ra. Fascinating. No sign of overbite. Slight concave curve to the canines. No yellowing at the base or the tip, but not too pale. Uh, concave curve. Indicates your intellect is at a lower level than usual for faux carnivores, but not too bad. I imagine you're a creative sort. I imagine you're always such an asshole. Stop this pointless quarreling. Let us engage in science. Peace, asshole. Hey, asshole. From Bo to Mo. Is that you? Oh, no. Did he just change his name? Is he in hiding? Get your papers. Is that you, Bo? 
No, I'm I'm Mo. Who's Bo? He looks exactly like you. Weird. Nonsense, I'm unique. This moustache is authentic and original, too. It's a fake moustache, Bo. Shh, go away. You're scaring off my clients. Got anything a lazy taxi driver would enjoy? You want news? Crosswords? Got a little something something for grown-ups. I thought dirty mags were illegal. It's a coloring book that has suggestive things to color in. Perfectly legal. Maybe not that exciting. Maybe the crosswords, then. I've only got the ones for kiddies left. All right, I'll take a coloring book. A wise choice. Two loons. Here you go. Thanks. It's happening locally. Like watch. Anything spooky? Yeah, man, the pigeons are getting crazy. Someone's got to poison the bastards, I'm telling you. And we're going to have a geezer plague, part two. Bird flu. That's quite spooky. My word. Word for word. Word. Mm. Seen any suspicious traffic? Nope. Got better things to do than count cars. I got news to show. Any funny locals? I'm funny and very local. Want to hear a joke? Sure. Uh, what do you call a dead baby rodent? Peekaboo. Wild. I knew you'd like that one. No shops for the van to deliver to you this way. Oh, I can go in the deli. Delta. Welcome, can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? That sounds delicious. Got any cider? Sure, we got regular red berry pear. Are you expecting a delivery today? I got plenty of each in stock, why do you ask? Just curious. What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. Fresh and seasonal. Got a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Finally. It's been unseason unseasonably cold. Slowed down the growth of lots of crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. The apes? Man, is there like a city filled with apes in this? Like, do they run, run everything? That would be pretty crazy. How will that affect you? Might be a tough couple of months. What can I say? At least Gastown grocers get a decent pick of the crop. Is it serious? We should be fine. It's just we're so reliant on the agriculture and the greenery, so fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. All right. Maybe they're using them for fertilizer or something. Would that work with bodies? Could this be the place? They got the cider in there, eh? Doesn't look too fresh. Hmm. Ocean crunchies, good for the munchies. A liquor shop. That would have some cider in it. Furniture store. Let's give me his magazine. I got you this. A coloring book? You think I'm five? It's for grown-ups, look. Oh, cat ladies. That's nice of your partner. I'm glad I'm not your partner. Thanks, Howard. Don't say I never get you nothing. Oh. Liquor. Louie. Sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Can you come back? What kind of delivery? Come back later. I have to close. Tuna. Okay, this must be it. Can I see if they serve that drink? Here they come. Fresh meat, baby. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Dun, dun. Mm, do you sell cider? 
Of course, my friend, but if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout, apple, cherry, blueberry infused varietals. Varietals? I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Uh, well, I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. Let me buy it fresh from the crate. I'll make it worth your while. I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'd have to take inventory, and there's bookkeeping. Maybe it's not Starling Cider in those crates at all. Why so flustered, Louis? Sir, this is my shop. I won't be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Please purchase something or leave immediately. I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. What? There's nothing. But if it will make you happy, and leave me alone. Got any buyers for those crates? I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but how about a free sample of my own porter? You trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no, I'm just being hospitable. A drink to smooth things over always helps. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns the bar, The Bite. I think it's called. She own anything else, perhaps, like you, Louis? I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not familiar with her business dealings. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... Then... Not having money problems, are you, Louis? It's a little slow. The parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. What's in the crates, Louis? Talk, or bad things will happen. Please, I don't know what you want to hear, but this shop is my life. I want the truth, and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Oh, Shepard, look. Do you want the money? Take everything. You ever broken a finger? Spill, or I start with your pinky. Please don't hurt me. Here's the storage room key. Look for yourself. This will be our secret. Oh no! I made him cry. Louis, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sniffle. Crate. Mm -mm -mm. Faded Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. Punch it. You slam a fist into the crate, it barely notices, but the lid does pop slightly out of its resting place. Your hand aches, but you're proud of your masculinity. Remove lid. Beneath the lid are a number of small packages individually wrapped in thick, silvery paper. Don't puke again, you can do this. Unwrap. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Sniff. A melange of intoxicating scents, sweet fatty notes of acidic tang. Inspect. It's light pink. I can't do this, I've seen enough. Selling the meats, man. I bet someone's out here, you totally called someone. Didn't you, Louie? You saw it? A illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Some don't smell as fishy as you'd think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, I could just pretend. You pathetic worm. You're going to give me answers now, damn it! Oh, dear Shepherd, give me strength to overcome my weakness and face your judgment. He won't help you now, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. It goes from being, like, really noir and kind of, like, ooh, good lines to, like, he ain't gonna help you now, bitch. It's like, okay. To protect me from the sins of non-believers until the great fire returns. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Louis? I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. You chose to be complicit. I did not. You'd never understand. What does Clarissa have on you? It's personal and deeply unset upsetting for me to articulate. Speak! Bloodworth's keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't have lasted. Bills for what? I'm not discussing my sister with a brute like you. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until the delivery. Delivery? 
a woman calls. I get one of my boys to deliver. We don't ask questions. What's her voice like? Which boy? Joey. I know he's discreet. He doesn't know anything, I swear. Name and address. Now! Isn't it? Her name is Badjoa. I can write down the address for you. Mm, you're safe for now. Take a long, hard look at yourself, Louis. You're never going to come back, right? Please, my heart couldn't take it. Last question. When is this Badjoa expecting delivery? Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I, you can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, my... They just won't get back to you. Give me the cigars, man. Fine, I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Cigar delivery. They need music all through the game, though, in the background. Some of it's too quiet. I should call Renee. Is there a phone here? Look at this place. Gorgeous, isn't it? The clean queen. That's a lovely view right there, isn't it? 